Hive Mind Network Online, Channel 0093. Secure uplink initiated. From Discord, and you might know me as Patlin you in uh, our game 194 uh, for another Twitch uh, event this week. Uh, as we're gonna show some a little little bitty new stuff uh, from the academy, and uh, I'm here with Codex. Hello. Who is gonna show you guys uh, uh, one of the things we produce uh, to have our thought process when we think about uh, domains, companies, missions, uh, infrastructures, entities, all of that. Um, it's just gonna do you a little multigo graph. And uh, just to have a uh, back and behind the scene picture of how we think about our missions. And, and it's also really useful for when you're going through your missions and maybe you get a little confused, a little lost. I mean, we've got that awesome, you know, uh, where you can store all of your different assets, but that doesn't always give you the whole picture. So when I play missions, I find Maltego graphing to be very helpful. Exactly, because in the end, 19.4 will have that huge behind like the scene world that you can explore uh, which will have many like domains and many companies many uh, entities that you discover on your mission that you'll m you might not know uh, like you might discover some stuff while doing a, a mission and you'll like maybe get lost about like okay well I found this company like a while ago I just don't know like what it's related to and if they talk about it in that later mission so uh multiple graphs helps you keeping a track on like who is what and what is connected to what so uh, to have a quick overview we're uh working still working a lot on the academy uh, we're still working a lot on the asian profile um and we're really like trying to work uh a l hard to release uh and you like uh, to show you guys the new version of the agent profile uh, but we don't want to uh, spoil all the fun yet uh, because it's like it's, it's coming in quite nicely but we, we're still having some little fix and uh, tune-ups but it's gonna it's gonna look great real soon and we're gonna show it to you guys as uh, probably probably the next stream if everything goes well but uh, we can never promise anything so um, little things that we've added right now when you enter in your uh, uh, we call that your campaign uh, gate where you can choose either you go in your mission center and or the academy just looking okay i was just looking at the stream was <laughs> was working so <laughs> um you get this little animation because uh, when we did our sketches we thought that on your desktop it feels better when you have your icon on the right like on the left like that with your info uh, floating uh, on the right but when you're in the academy or in the mission center it feels more like the the interface feels more complete when it's when it's like that it feels more organized and, and such so we have right here our mission globe uh, we have some like we have currently put uh, most certifications in the academy uh they're just not uh, either they don't have like the real objective or their real content but like we, we're trying to like we're testing the flow right now so i'm gonna obviously not gonna go through all of them uh but now when you click on an academy button it rotates your globe like that like in the mission center but since you have like a lot of certification real close, like the animation gets, it's a little, it has a little different feel, so it's kind of cool. And um, you have also this button that opens a map. Right now we have a dummy map that uh, I can show you. There's no problem. Um, and you'll see how they're connected and what they're supposed to unlock. We'll have like a better version of that with those. Uh, rectangles uh, lighting when you, you complete them or, or whatsoever uh, so that's uh, it for uh, this uh, the screen that's where we're at right now we're getting pretty close to what we want as we have like really like an, an inventory and when you access let's say a, a certification you have right uh, this button initiate phase one which was already there um, 
but it's it has more input the start training button only appears when you initiate your dialogue and Dylan will explain this description on the on the left but uh, as I said we don't have the real content and all the certifications yet so it's all dummy content right now it's uh, they all do the same thing and as for th the flow it's pretty much the same as I've already showed before so for people that didn't saw uh, like it's really for testing those won't be like <laughs> the real objective it's the same thing three time I just have to open three modules and it completes my training it won't be as easy uh, and uh, linear don't worry but it's just to show like the the, the flow of our will so when you complete your certification you have this printed you come back and there you go you know this cool animation when you open your menu so when I look at this window in general uh, we're getting really close to what we're, we're trying to achieve as in terms of game mechanics as a f general feel um, so I don't know if you have uh, something to comment right here uh, Codex I've just been enjoying the eye candy. It's very pretty. <laughs> Thank you. I don't get to see this stuff before the streams usually because I just don't. So it's, it's nice to look at. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry. I'm I have uh, too much work on my hands. Don't have time to show it uh, to everyone. No, we've <laughs> got you know we've got our share and our show and tell time once a week. So yeah, exactly. So at least you get to see it as all the players are seeing it so um, like I said we're, tra like, we're trying to be as open as possible uh, uh, with our uh, development progress that's pretty much it for the uh, for the academy right now it's a lot also of back uh, end stuff and it's also a lot of little tweakings about like uh, filtering your academy stuff little animations little so we're really on the polishing part on the academy and we're also like I said working hard on the agent profile so that's another big chunk and mm -hmm. when it'll be ready uh, we'll, we'll show uh, like all those two will process together uh, and you'll see a big difference in the game when like we are I'll say in about a week the game will uh, have changed a lot <laughs> so um, and, and uh, in a good way of course of course so uh, that's pretty much where we're at right now uh, so, um, I'm gonna switch my screen to um, you, Codex, and uh, while she's doing this, I'm gonna start new stream life, and we're gonna do a multigraph like example of how you could do new stream life. Do you still have the um, that scene set up where you can do two screens? I think it doesn't have that configuration now. I'll just switch between one and the other. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Just remember, I can't see what you're doing. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> we'll uh, do it step by step. S so, what I will need you to do, so for starters, so if I go right now, we'll just wait. Okay. My okay, I think I'll be able to. Uh, I might. Mm, okay. Like it might be better to show the actual mission screen right yeah. now instead of my empty graph. Yeah, just well, I'm just like trying to tweak out something because um, I'm trying to get the mission center working. There's like a little glitch. So just wait a sec. It was supposed to go well. Oh well. Okay. So give me a sec. This should work. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Great. Um. So right now, what we want to do first um, is, if you look at our objectives, this user gathering tool to find an entry point and their network 
and in our briefing we have like Lower Walker, New Stream Life, and that's pretty much the info we have. So I suggest uh, that we start by having some kind of entity called New Stream Life. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good idea. Yeah. I mean, it gives us the sort of the initial setup right there, which yeah. is yeah. And like you can see that in the briefing, there's actually like a little like. M Demonstration of a demonstration of a multi go graph, but that's like a, a glimpse of what it actually yeah, it's is. Just the basics. <laughs> so we'll do basically like that first step just to set things right. Yeah. So, and I'm letting, um, okay, cool. I'm going to just switch in between screens so you guys can see what she is, what Kodai is doing. Okay. So, uh, um, we're on your screen. There you go. Right. So you drag and drop. It's all really easy. New stream life when you're living. New stream life. <laughs> when you're living that new stream life. So, so that's in your life so right now. So that's the only. So that's the first part. No, it's not. I'm. I've. I've got it. I took a picture of the screen with my phone, so you don't have to keep switching back and forth. Oh okay. And just to be so uh, I don't myself I don't do that much of multiple graphs in terms of I'm pretty much like I'm working the uh, engine we're using to develop the game uh, but I don't like necessarily create the missions I can like create little Easter eggs uh, sometimes but uh, most like the people that are creating the missions uh, are using multiple graphs but they're like we said they're really useful uh, in a full playthrough. Yeah, definitely. It lets you sort of keep an eye on the relations between different groups. And that's that's a cool thing. You can like reassemble them in different layouts and they mm -hmm. are always adjust accordingly. That's that's super cool. Yeah. Because like that's that's nothing compared to like some of the graphs we have uh, in our uh, in our database. Where yeah. We have <laughs> immense Sometimes they get a little crazy. Yeah, but like, well, we always find a layout that make them kind of clear. So if I go back in the game, yes, okay, so and I'm ready. I do my mission. Okay, so I Dylan talks to me. I don't want to talk to Dylan. I'm sorry. So I do my S feather on your stream life. Okay, great. So we have two, we have like three other, uh, two other domains that we have discovered. Oh. So, so those are like subdomains. Mm -hmm. So there is CDN and extranet. There you go. You just Some of the layouts get a little crazy, but yeah. <laughs> you but know. Yeah, but like that, like that, it looks good. It looks like um, probably that people that have been there since the alpha, uh, like, I've realized that if you, if some of you guys didn't know what a multiple graph was, and you were playing the alpha version of the game, all their maps and the mission briefings were basically multiple graphs. They were literally just multiple graphs on the on the right side.
we kind of remove them from the briefings but uh, maybe one day they'll see uh, the light in some other form in the game like in the briefings for example just adjusting the graph a little yeah. bit so it's a little more accurate <laughs> yeah. I would like it uh, nice and clean so well, Laura works for the organization not the website yeah. so um, would you want me to do like a uh, fingerprint on, on all the um, subdomains or just extranet we'll do it for just extranet yeah we can show how it works with just one yeah exactly because anyway it's the one you want to want to act so I'm doing my fingerprint and not like speeding a uh, speed running that thing we're ju I'm just there you go so I have three port three technology three version well not three version but like three state I guess up to date and vulnerable yeah, I remember so I know I had I had a pallet in here that was slightly more useful. Mm. So I have this thing port. Here, port. Yeah. So you said there are three ports. Yeah, there are three ports. Um, and they had three technologies. Yeah. Sort of a banner. Yeah. Well, that's sort of how, how it be, how it do. How we do it? Uh, are you like? Is there? Ma I think your banner is too close for that hammer. Uh, I mean it's there. Oh, it's yeah, it's just, it's just, yeah. We're just I, we're just hitting it. Cool. So your first port is uh, well, I can actually reshare my screen. Yeah, I'll just write them in. Exactly. So it's eighty. We got 8081. We yeah. got. We have so much cool stuff coming in uh, for the following I'm weeks. I'm taking the screen! <laughs> <laughs> but we're uh, really high. It's all coming together. Oh, I made two arrows. Give me two hours. RIP. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> That's okay. Bad. That's okay. Okay. Everyone makes make errors. Okay. Okay, so I did it. It's beautiful. Cool. cool. So, um, what you're gonna do then? Um, uh, do can you write down like the um, the vulnerabilities, like the foxacid exploits, stuff like that? Required to act a technology. If I do my search ploy, as I just did. Mm. Uh, let me just look. If not, there's. It's not that bad. I can. I don't think maybe you. Uh, hmm? Maybe you could like have some kind of identifier saying that, like, one of those ports is vulnerable, and. Well, I usually put it in a note. Oh, okay, cool. But you can't see with the way I have my share set up, so <laughs> hang on, I can adjust this. Yeah. So right now we had the uh, search ploy. Uh, thing I just did so oh wait, let me just share that screen oh so you would write like the notes yeah but you uh you, yeah I'll I can't see it <laughs> I'm going back back to the search ploy Are you uh, seeing it? Oh, yeah. Cool. yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's just let me chair back. So there you go. Oh. It lets me have it as a note. Yeah, that's cool. 
So that like that's one way to put it, but I imagine like you can pretty much. There's lots of different ways to yeah, do it. Exactly. You could make your own like custom entity for exploits. You could, you could do all kinds of nonsense. Exactly. So right now we're aiming for that fox acid. So just let me switch back. I have that fox acid. Our well, there's no secret uh, for anyone. Everyone has solved that puzzle. So. Um, yeah, cool. So. Um, so we're now in. I don't think there's nothing to add. Well, we just... We just the uh, we just uh, fox acid our way to extranet. Mm -hmm. So, but when I do the net scan, I think it would be worth to write down uh, that stuff because we have new paths. Yeah, definitely. So I'm just gonna leave it open for a bit. Yeah, it's not really. Uh Maybe we get that cool skin. I'm trying to think what would be a good way to do it. Oh, uh, well, they're, they're technically, uh, they do like a path, so. Um, yeah, that's not really a good way to do that, so I can just, uh, just do it as phrases. Cool. And like we said, it's, it's all according to, like, depending on. Yeah, it's all, like, personal preference. Okay, so I'm just gonna share your screen back. So, she put some um, phrases, but like personally, maybe I, I would have put like the uh, the kind of HTTPS thingy, just to know it's... The URL? Yeah, maybe I would have put it that, because it, it's a path, but you know, and it's... And it goes. But like I said, it's, it's as you wish. <laughs> I suppose... Oh. I'm being a lazy butt. I'm doing it this way instead of just redoing it. What was the last path over there? It's uh. Oh, I'm gonna share it back. So it's ace uh, slash. Oh yeah. Uh, front slash is already. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Great. So like now everyone can see how bad I am at Maltego. <laughs> <laughs> so that's like we're starting to have a, a clearer picture of like uh, like our our network is map. So that's pretty cool. And like we one of the things we plan uh, of course is to have that kind of mapping. Um being done over time when you're playing the game so let's say you're you're like finding subdomains or finding ports or finding vulnerabilities a bit like domain mapping mm -hmm. uh, but uh, the whole picture like even the, the the entities you're finding the the things like the the, the vulnerabilities you're finding with search for like l like we're doing with multigo one of the things we would like to stuff that kind of dynamicness in in the game while you're playing So that's one of the things we'd like uh, to do. So n next time, next thing, actually, quickly we're gonna dig, dig it up. There we go. Okay, so I have a whole bunch of entities unlock. Um, so, uh, so you have, I think you have person in the. Yeah. I think it's uh, lower. Elias? Oh, yeah. uh, person. Mm -hmm. Cool. Four of them. Exactly. So, let me just switch. We have Murder Brooks. <laughs> so, uh, all those 
Those that was in the employee registry. Yeah, exactly. And there's uh, I'm gonna. You want me to give it the two other? There's Laura Walker, of course. <laughs> and Chris Hansen. And send like uh, is yeah I like that. Got you. Cool. And we have uh well we have an entity notion map, but like we already have that map. So that's that's a cool thing. Let's switch back to me. I'm gonna do that real quick. Boop. Boop. Okay, so I know I have to click on this one. Cool. Great. Okay, so now I have another bunch of entities unlocked. And we have like the Ot Ottawa service. Ottawa like government services. Mm -hmm. right? And we have a new pat AC score pattern. I don't think we'll have to put the AC score pattern since it's like it's more like an yeah. It's more like an yeah. uh, a weapon in a game. You know, like it's more of an equipment. Like mm -hmm. So you don't need to put that, but definitely all the other entities you would because like in the game we uh, in this mission we use Ottawa traffic CCTV, but mm -hmm. maybe eventually we'll use one or, uh, another one that in a very later mission and you're like where does this come from and that's when your multigraph comes in handy so okay it's in the first mission and it's linking to that and yeah i mean when the actual game is set up um you'll probably be able to put everything or almost everything on one really big multigraph Oh, well, exactly, and that's pretty. It's it's pretty much how we're trying to process this as in like a huge open world containing missions uh, that you be able to navigate in. That's like how we, we're kind of seeing the the full picture right now. That's that's our goal. That's how we want the feel to be. Mm -hmm. Because like of course, like I said, there's gonna be like main missions uh, with con a lot of content, a lot of things to do, uh, but there's gonna be some stuff not necessarily in missions but maybe link to one or maybe uh you'll f the stuff that you'll just find uh, randomly yeah and and it's not even linked to any mission it's just like this new company thingy that does like weird stuff that you could just can act like that so um if you continue this uh graph uh codex uh are you are you uh we should do the um a company maybe called Oh, there was services, I'd say. Um, yeah, which one? Yeah. Yeah, let's do, like, auto Oh, we had the, um, here. Okay. So we had... So we have, like... Yeah. I would have, maybe I would have put it in like, in a general, yeah, okay, cool, that, that's, that's that. It was like Laura and Andy, right? Yeah, exactly. That I have no idea if that's going to be like. Just looking up, so we made like, an NXT Squad New Stream Life, like, I say company, but it's like, an yeah. entity. A that contains another bunch of entities, so Ottawa services, and this and uh, Ottawa services will contain uh, or four other uh, entities we unlock. So Ottawa airport, Ottawa police scanner, Ottawa ER registration, and Ottawa traffic CCTV. It's pretty cool. So, uh, I'm just okay. Are you? I just wanted to go back. There you go. Okay. So yeah, I just wanted to leave the surprise out, um, and it was like an 
background Surprise. noise behind. <laughs> there you go. And there was some background noise behind him, so it kind of was distracted for like a minute. Sorry for that. So I think we're getting, we're getting like it's getting huge. It's getting and it, it gets pretty big. Yeah, and like that's a uh, half mission. Yeah. So. Um, and we didn't even go through and graph the fingerprints on the other websites. Mm -hmm. or I know, right? Okay, so just let me look at that. Um, I'm gonna reset. I'm just gonna put my traffic or walker and mission right? Is it there? It's like it's there. Uh, oh no. I didn't even pick the right thing. I don't know why it's like... Mm, for some reason, Mission Art is like... It's hidden and it's not hidden. So, um... Oh, there you go. Oh, am I not doing the, this right? Oh. What am I doing? Okay, sorry for that. I was like lost for a second. It's been such a long time since I did this mission. So, we're here at the um, satellite. So, it gives you a document. And we're gonna have like, it give yeah, it gave us a document, so that's cool. Yeah, you should put that. I'm gonna share the screen. So satellite image snapshot, yeah, exactly. Or whatever it's called. No, it's 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 really that. It's that, yeah. And I think you could put like the coordinates. Like, mm -hmm. so. Well, I can get the. Uh yeah, exactly. So just put like uh, it's just put forty five and uh, less seventy five. There you go. And then I can put the license plate number on the other one. Yeah, it's uh, <coughs> so by heart it's N S L zero one. So. And a little complicated. It's it's yeah there so. And we have Tri Media. Mm, not yet. Yeah, we have that. We have or hint right there on the. Yeah, because that's. Uh, it's an a company. It's a device. At the location. Associated. I'll try yeah, that's cool. And Yee. I'm gonna like I'm gonna do this quietly. So <laughs> I'm not gonna like I already have the uh, the VPN so I would cheat I could cheat right now and change but I won't do it. So we have we will have two new subdomains, which uh, there will be webmail and API dot billboard. Some of you would like to add that. And as we said, this is pretty much how like, we structure our missions. So it's like one huge graph that contains all the nodes required to complete the mission. Yeah. It it becomes a lot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that's cool. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. So we have those new subdomains. If I fingerprint my API that billboard try media mm. 
Okay. So four <laughs> ports. One four. We want technology though, so maybe you could just have like. No, oh. I can just do it like this. It's easy yeah, enough. no problem. Cool. Okay. No, you're right. Actually, it would be easier to just do it the other way. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Yeah, we're pretty lot. Like, we're pretty much doing that on the spot, just to like show you guys how. Like, we're, when we're creating like a mission together, or uh, someone's creating something, it's pretty much how we do it. It's a little behind the scene of how like we construct some of our stuff. So Ivan? Sneak peek. And do you have any like questions on this stream right now? Uh, I can look at them actually. No. I don't think a lot of people made it out today. No problem. And you know it's it's pretty fine, you know, we don't have always big announcements. We're really there for people that uh, want to have like a, a little good time, a little hour with us, showing little new stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. But probably next week or in two weeks, uh, we uh, will have like big new stuff, toys. A, a bigger, really big toys to show. Yeah. So that's that, and I'm switching to your screen. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that's, and just zoom out a bit. Sure. If you zoom, zoom out again, yeah, it, it's really cool. Big graph. And from like on our end, when we have this kind of graph, we like can separate like this part is in one mission, but this same a, a part of that can also be in another mission. Mm -hmm. So let's say that maybe Tri Media could be linked on the right to another mission, and and it's still be part of New Stream Lab, but it's part of a whole different mission because they have something fishy going on in the end, but you just didn't know about it. Um, so if we continue, we we'll do our source port. Source port on the media server. There you go. So you have UDP and segmentation fault. Mm -hmm. Great, so if I go back to your screen, you have your nil node that says, cool, so I'm going to do my, I'm going to do my fox acid, pretty easy, since I pretty know, uh, there you go, there you go, and there you go, well I'm simulating my fox acid actually because I already have that. <laughs> and I've probably lost my target. It happens. Yeah, it happens to even the best of us. Okay. Okay. So we're back. I'm gonna like speedrun to it. Back on the hack. Exactly. And there's a lot of info that looks like dummy info right there. I wouldn't note any of that. There's nothing that seems real. You don't want to write down every single phone? No, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> there. But it, it's the, the, the thought process that also I think you should have when you're, you're playing the game. When there's so many information, it looks like you know, there, there's too many to make sense of it. You wait to narrow it down a bit to mm -hmm. have some and it always, it, like sometimes it already shows like the the one, uh, the only one that's gonna be good, uh, like in this instance. But if I would have like two or three other MAC addresses, maybe I would have write it down. Um, in this instance, this one is kind of easy. So we'll, let's, 
just have to wait till it, it drives. You can do it. The little triangle. The little triangle that could. Okay, so. Uh, okay, cool. So now we've confirmed that this is the MAC address we needed to. So a lot of information there. I'm gonna complete the mission. It's done. But, like... You could still, if you wanted to, go through and make a note of I heard the like other stuff. Exactly. If you wanted. You have the phone number, the provider, you have the stuff maybe in, in our notes. You know, like, there's a lot of stuff that we could, like... He hate from the garbage bin. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of... <laughs> I've never... <laughs> it's you never looked through these? I, I don't think so. I think I've never <laughs> looked in that. It, and it's kind of it's kind of funny. And it's kind of complete. And it's because it's... Like... I remember I, I worked on New Stream Life, but like we're so we're a lot in the rush about like having the uh, the, the thing out that I haven't took the time to look at the cell phone and I never did until now. So <laughs> if we have a look at our graph and you zoom out a bit, so that's pretty much that's a graph for one mission, for one like regular mission. One fairly straightforward mission. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, but I was like on introduction to the game before, but I think it's like, it, it's super wild, like it's super, like, it, there's a lot of information in there, there's yeah. a lot of stuff that we could deepen a lot, and like, let's say if, if there was like other missions of New Stream Life, you could have something related to another entity, uh, something related to our media, as I have told earlier, so this helps you get you keep track of every little thing and we do love to hide little stuff everywhere so this helps keeps you like you know um just keeps Makes updated it spot. exactly keeps updated on what's going on and not to l get lost in in that swarm of information so uh I, th I think that's pretty much it for this week's Twitch. Mm -hmm. There was not a lot to show uh, new. Like I said, it's more uh, going to be in the following weeks if the everything goes well. We'll have uh, really cool stuff to show you guys. Um, so, did you have anything on your end, Codex? No. Nope. Cool. So, uh, thanks uh, for stopping by. Uh, stay tuned for the following week's Twitch events. We'll have uh, probably really new cool stuff to show you and, and a lot of it. And um, and uh, thanks for uh, for staying with us uh, for all the Twitch. Uh, we do love even if there's not everyone every time. Even if there's a few people, we just love sharing uh, our process, our thought processes, our, our ways of working uh, in Nineteen Four. Uh, we're just glad that everyone's there always. So um, uh, well, thank you, and see you next time. Bye, guys. Closing route access. Goodbye.